Hello and welcome, this is Roofmonger, and I am doing my live tier list here on stream, and it's going to be uploaded to YouTube, where you're probably watching it right now, and I'm just going to be giving my opinions on Season 2 of Dragon Ball Fighters after the big Season 2 patch, and obviously after uh, the character balance patch, which happened, which changed a lot. Now, first up, before anything else, I'm sure there's a timestamp here, so you can skip ahead to the end tier list if you want to. Uh, this is obviously, in my opinion even, a bit early for a tier list. Uh, so please forgive it because you know a month from now one thing you might see might be wildly inaccurate or maybe wildly accurate Maybe I called it who knows right? Uh, there hasn't been too many tournaments going on just yet with all the new stuff So I know this is early I'm mostly doing this because I've been requested a lot and so I'll just be giving my opinions on the matter on uh, Just where everything is right now in uh, Dragon Ball Fighters. So uh, first up here since was obviously gonna be a very opinion based thing uh, let's just start with uh, the tier list itself. So we're doing a basic tier list, as you can see here. The basic tier list I'm not doing has faults, uh, has strengths, assists, whatever. I'm just taking the character strength as it is, as a total. So uh, it counts the assist, it counts like just general synergies, all that kind of stuff. That's where my thought process is. So with that in mind, also, should probably full screen this, eh? There we go. Now it's full screen. Uh, so with that in mind, uh, let's just start with uh, the top. And the tiers will be delineated. So each separate bunching of characters is a different tier. I won't be doing like sideways tiers. They'll be in relative power to each other. Uh, but I'm not going to order it. Just, we're just doing this kind of basic right now. We're doing this kind of basic. Uh, so first up here, as uh, we all know, uh, Roofmonger streams... And we're from our tier list. Android 16 is probably the worst character in the game. Uh, but now let's just get the obvious stuff out of the way. Uh, if I could see past this icon. There we go. So let's just get the top tier out of the way. Like, like are we even going to argue this stuff? Like, we're... Like, I think this stuff is inarguable at this point. This is your top tier. This is just how it is. I don't think, like, I don't think this really bears even any great amount of discussion. These are just clearly the best characters in the game at this point. Uh, Bardock. I'm not. I'm not even gonna say anything about Bardock. You know. You know. Kid Boo. He's been nerfed how many times now? And <laughs> he's still. Kid Boo, <laughs> which makes you think how freakishly powerful he was at the start of the game when everyone's blaming Cell and Android 16 for how strong they are. Uh, Adult Gohan, once again, as always, he he does everything. He's even a little better off now because he can do new combo routes uh, that used to be like level one only, now in level zero. And Piccolo, well, Piccolo's Piccolo, right? Um, to me, these are just the undisputed best characters in the game. Uh, don't really need, like, I don't even know what else I can really say about that. Uh, <laughs> been nerfed a million times, doesn't matter. Been nerfed a million times, doesn't matter. Uh, either, like, nerfs, like, non-negligible nerfs and, like, debatable buffs. And Piccolo was a character took a long time to get where he is. Plus, you know, we had a lot of buffs to help get there. Uh, but, like, snapback meta stuff, hell zone pressure, uh, his combo, like, he... he I'm not going to say, like, any one of these characters is way better than the others. Like, they're all just roughly in the same uh, equivalence of uh, power. But, yeah, these are just the best characters in the game as far as I'm concerned. So, now we hit uh, the top. Uh, so, let's work our way to the bottom. So, the bottom. That's right, every one of my low tier here. Giant now, in previous tier lists, we've had a lot of people in the bottom. We've had, you know, Nappa been in the bottom of his day uh we've had um characters like android 17 at the bottom but right now to me the worst character in the game and keep in mind worst is relative because no one's impossible to play but overall the least valuable character in the game is blue vegeta so did not blue vegeta get tons of buffs in the patch well sort of but not buffs that change anything for him like he even lost stuff like he lost some of his l record pressure uh and like <sighs> he's too awkward of a character like he just 
He always has been. Even when you buff small little elements that like none, nothing really matters, he just remains that point. Like, you know, what's ten times zero, right? Ten times zero is zero, right? So, <laughs> I know there's uh, people out there who put a lot of time into Blue Vegeta, and they, uh, you know, they, they, they like the character. And I'm not gonna say I'm not saying you don't like the character, right? Uh, but is he weaker than everyone else? Yeah. And I know, uh, recently a lot of people are saying, where's the old Krill Dog? Krill Dog. Krillin's the worst character in the game. I even think, even though I think Krillin got nerfed overall. Batista is indeed down. Uh, I think Krillin got nerfed overall. Um, I still think Blue Vegeta's worse, but Krillin's just like only barely above him. And as we're doing this, we'll resort everything so everything looks nice and pretty. Uh, but so yeah. Uh, Krillin and Blue Vegeta, and obviously 16 still the worst. Now, with that said, that's just kind of fleshing out kind of the upper tier, right? So, characters that are not immediately the best, but are kind of just one tier below the best. And that also, I'm gonna have a little drink of water. Uh, so let's talk Super Saiyan Goku. Super Saiyan Goku was always one of the more prevalent anchors in the game. Solid all rounder, uh, an all tier list beforehand. He'd usually be like hanging around here. It's like, oh yeah, he's pretty all right. You know, he's not bad. Um, but uh, and no, no tank today because uh, I used to drank up all my tanks with so just water today. Um, he got some real stuff like the double super stuff gone. Sure, whatever, right? So he does less damage overall in combos, but he has so many more opportunities now to get stuff. He has uh, way strong pressure off like any given corner combo now, as long as you do the correct combo route. Uh, that's basically inescapable pressure, so low, no assist needed, and he's just really good now. Like, he he became a better anchor, like, straight up. So, yeah, he lost a little bit of the reach for the damage, but he became a better anchor. And my friends who are asking questions right now uh, will answer your questions after the tier list is done, because this is going up on YouTube. And the people on YouTube, you, all, you already know because you're watching, right? Uh, but, yeah, so, overall... Uh, he's right. basically Everyone coming close to being like the best overall anchor in the game. Uh, so yeah, he's going to be up here. Now, who else is up here in my opinion? And once again, my opinion, feel free to disagree. You don't have to agree. Tier lists are opinion based That's things, right? right? Every one of my race can become a uh, gorilla. <clears throat> excuse me. So who else is up here? Well, uh, we're as soon as I can find him. So Cell, Cell's still just really strong. We talked Cell a million years now at this point. There's what else is there to say? Is Cell the best anymore? Nah, sure. He's not, he ain't the best. But Cell's just a really good all rounder. Cell does what Cell wants to do whenever he wants to do it. Uh, so going forward from there, who's this person here? I can't see. There we go. Fidel. Um, going forward from that, now this one, this is a, this is a great, crazy roof monger choice. I think Trunks is up here now. Trunks has been like the perennial mid tier character for a long time. And the recent patch was a really big, like really, really big help to Trunks. Uh, he got so much more real stuff, like better combo, like way, holy, like way better combo stuff, uh, better mixes. Like his assist has always been secret. One of the better assists in the game. Um, Trunks is really good guys. <laughs> like, Maybe you might disagree with me. I don't know, man, but Trunks is really, really good. Uh, Gotenks. I don't even want to talk about this character. Let's just put him there. You all know Gotenks deserves to be here. Let, let's not belabor the point. Ratboy. Ugh. Ugh. Ratboy is Ratboy. All right, so we got a bit of the upper tier here filled out, so let's just start scrolling around and just uh, moving around here. So let's just fill out a mid-tier. And now this one's going to be another against the grain one. Mid-tier. Solid mid tier. Goku Black. Uh, seems to be a recent trend. A lot of people are putting Goku Black like near the bottom. And like, I'm not going to say Goku Black's like, you know, week one. Oh my God, Goku Black's the best character no more, right? But everyone's saying he's bad now. I'm like, what? Like, maybe he isn't the best, but bad? Like, you can't have a beam assist, giant normals, and stuff that owns a lot of the screen and dive kick and the god slicer and be bad. You can't be bad with these tools. Maybe you won't be great. Maybe you're not ideal, especially because, you know, your brother is eating your, a lot of your lunch when it comes to being an anchor, right? 
But is he bad? No, absolutely not. No, like all these options, command grab, big normals, beam assist. No way he's bad. Uh, yeah, there you go. Do cactus there. Goku Black's biggest crime is not being Super Saiyan Goku at this point. That's it. His biggest crime is just not being better than the other guy who's better than him. So is he bad? No, abs I, I, will, I cannot say he's bad. Not great, maybe. Not great. But bad? Absolutely not. And now I need another drink. All right, all right, all right. So let's keep going through here. Ginyu's an odd boy. Ginyu's an odd boy. Uh, Ginyu, uh, if you're not aware, Aqua, who's like the Ginyu, the most famous Ginyu player, just dropped him recently. I think Ginyu's stronger than he was um, before the patch, but obviously he's very much like a meta choice. And uh, Ginyu just apparently isn't meta enough now if the most famous player of the character drops him, right? Um, so I personally think Ginyu's all right. I think he's even a little better, but you know, Ginyu, once again, such a momentum based character when the Ginyu train's leaving the station, I made this analogy a million times, but when Ginyu chain leaves the station and Ginyu's doing all the Ginyu stuff, he seems like the strongest character in the game. And when Ginyu has his back to the wall or maybe just, he can't get some momentum. Like, you know, there's not a lot of summons going on. Ginyu just seems like one of the weakest characters. So overall, I think he's pretty decent. But Ginyu still is Ginyu, and yeah, so here he is. Uh, now that said, let's just put Vegito up here too. Uh, a lot of people, I see Vegito all over the place in a lot of people's tier lists. I always think he's decent. He's a little bit better than average, uh, but I never think he's that much. He's He's got some good buttons, but he's not got better buttons than the people who have the great buttons. Um, he's got better damage now, which is good. Uh, his neutral is still... All right, I guess. Uh, the meter nerf on uh, the key blast, uh, the sword, that seemed to cheese a lot of people off, but I don't play Vegeta, so whatever. Uh, but yeah, I just think he's pretty good. A lot of people, like, uh, a lot of people are like, oh, Vegeta's like, should be up here. I'm like, no, nah, not, not in my opinion, anyways. Of course, your opinion is equally as valid. Uh, but for me, I just think he's solid, but like, nothing much more than that. Uh, so. Now, let's go to the man of the hour. The guy who debatably got the biggest changes in the patch. Nappa. So, Nappa. He's alright. <laughs> it's alright, I guess. Like, Nappa still has all the Nappa... Like, he got a lot of buffs, sure, but he's still an incredibly flawed character. If we were doing the has flaws thing, he'd be, like, way over here on the has flaws, right? So, Nappa... Uh, we're just gonna put him over here for now. Um... He is not as bad as he used to be, but he's still not great. <laughs> like, honestly, like he's utterly dependent on assist to do anything he wants. Um, his neutral just consists of Stan H, basically. A lot of stuff gets better, but Nappa is still Nappa. He's a big target. Uh, it's hard for him to do a lot of stuff. I love the character, um, but every time he gains stuff, he also loses stuff. Uh, so every time he gains power, like, uh, as himself as a character, he usually loses, like, one Cyberman gimmick. And usually it's kind of a key gimmick. And for him, like, once again, last patch, he lost more stuff. Um, but he gained, like, more self-sufficiency. But still, the self-sufficiency he gained is still, like, bottom-tier self-sufficiency, right? It's just better than it was before. But it's still, like, near the worst in the game when it comes to being self-sufficient. <laughs> So, yeah, so I love him, but yeah, Nappa, he's a rude boy. Uh, Broly, let's talk Broly. Everyone knows, Roofmonger knows Broly, right? Uh, Broly, once again, we're not doing the has faults thing, because otherwise Broly would be weighing over in the has faults well rounded thing. But Broly, he's slowly getting up there. Broly is a weird character, because I think, in my opinion anyways, no character has as strong extreme strengths and extreme weaknesses. Like Broly is an island by himself and like so many crazy strengths and so many crazy weaknesses. He can get hit by stuff other characters can't get hit by. End of story. And I'm not talking just like fuzzy stuff, right? Cause like fuzzy, like a third of the cast can get fuzzied. I'm talking like a stray key blast gonna hit him on the top of his head that would miss every other character in the game. Like that's the kind of stuff him being big is a big knock against him. 
Like, uh, when it comes to pure neutral, I think he's one of the best characters in the game, if not debatably the best right, neutral in the game. Uh, he's the gorilla. best zoner in the game for whatever little that means, I guess. Because, you know, zoning is not really that big of a deal, but best key blast in the game, hands down. Uh, in my opinion, best basic projectile, quarter circle forward right, S. Because it's very spammable, it's armored, it's uh, safe on block. Uh, there's very little gaps to actually punish it. Uh, but yeah, just a lot of strong strengths, a lot of strong weaknesses. So I think, in my personal opinion, maybe I'm biased, uh, but Broly, uh, he's uh, upper mid, but there's just too many things holding him back. Like, and stuff like uh, stand jab with so much on small characters at certain ranges or crouching characters, period, like that kind of stuff. Um, so yeah, that's Broly. That's Broly. Uh, moving forward, Goku Black, or Goku Black, Goku Blue. Blech. I've been a person who has always talked about this character when everyone else said he, he was basically crap, right? So when other tier lists back in the day would put him like over here, I'd say, well, actually, yeah, maybe a little bit over here, right? So where he currently stands, this is my opinion, he's up here. Not top tier, but he's gotten so, like the patch has been very kind to him. He's already had one of the better toolboxes in the game. And now he can, like, unlike Nappa, his self-sufficiency is, like, actually kind of real now. Unlike Nappa's fake self-sufficiency. Uh, so many better combos, setups, uh, combo room, like, everything. Like, everything, he was already solid, in my opinion. And the patch just helped him out so much more. Um, you say, eh, there you go, Johnny. You say his neutrals, man, eh. He's got a good key blast. He's got good normals-ish. Like, not, like, Broly-level normals, but, like... He's got basically the Super Saiyan Goku suite and Super Saiyan Goku just fine enough. So that's plenty good for him. All right, as we keep going here, Zamasu. A lot of the early hype in Zamasu had him up here. I don't strongly believe that, but I do believe he's up here now. Uh, it's not, his game plan as before is kind of the same-ish, but he has like some really strong gimmicks now. Uh, and those strong gimmicks just help him just kind of go up the patch, or patch, the Tier list, just a little bit. Before, I usually had him around here, but now we're just going to knock him up one notch. Now, let's keep going here. So, we're thinning down the herd. So, also, how about Kulela? Cooler. Cooler was a character I would always say perennially kind of mid-tier. I th think maybe he's a little bit slept on before. And the changes he got in the patch are not huge deals. They're not game changers. But their quality, for a character was already kind of on the cusp. And then you get some quality of life changes. Like, it does help quite a bit. Uh, so for Cooler, uh, definitely not a mid-tier uh, hero no more. I think he's strong. Uh, he still has some weaknesses, like, you know, just like, you know, Broly, right? Being big don't help. Uh, but I think he's in a good place now. Cooler, he's got a lot of fun stuff. He's honestly not as explored as he could be. I still think there's a lot more dirt to show a Cooler than there is currently out there right now. Uh, but yeah, I think he's pretty cool. And speaking of cool, well, let's just go. Oh, right. And I think Frieza gorilla. is up here as well. So Frieza got some stuff in the patch. He lost some stuff too, a little bit. He lost a little bit, but he got mostly some stuff. And I think Frieza is now in a pretty good position. Talking too much makes my throat sore. Sorry, I'm sorry. I'm gonna drink a lot. Uh, I think Frieza is in a pretty good position. He's already had like. A lot of the zoning for as little as it actually matters in this game because this game's too crazy for zoning to matter too much. Um, but he got good stuff, got better combo routes. Um, Golden Freeze got unnerfed from the original Season 2 patch, so he gained bar as normal now. Um, like stuff like his cross up options are not as good, but he was never really going to be a mix up monster, anyways. So, like, that's not really what the character was ever intended to be. Uh, but yeah, I think Freeze is just downright solid. And speaking of downright solid, like, who's going to argue TN? Are you? Are you going to argue TN? Do I even have to talk about this? Like, Tien's just solid. Tien's solid with a capital S on his name. He loses less, less health now on uh, Tri-Beams. Tri-Beam does more damage. Uh, he has a level 2 Tri-Beam now. Uh, level 3 Tri-Beam does more damage. Like, he's just better at being Tien. Tien's always solid. Can't argue it. Uh, speaking of solid. I, I actually, I didn't have anything uh, in my brain. 
I was like, let's pick a solid, and it's like, oh, well, I, I, here, let's let's go with this. There. Yamcha's solid enough. So, Yamcha. Uh, I've always said Yamcha is an amazing assist with not as an amazing character, and I guess the patch helped a little bit, but it's just kind of like, where you put him? Do I think he's up here? I can't in good faith say it. I know most people would. I'm not that person, so I'm going to have to put Yamcha here. I can't, uh, oh, right. I think Everyone he's in a fantastic assist and every gorilla. possible thing, or like maybe even top three assist. Uh, but I don't think Yamcha's as a complete package as a character, not including the assist, as like say a Super Saiyan Goku. And when you're picking a character for your team for the assist, and I think the package is not as strong total, then like that's why he's here, and that's why he's here. Now moving forward, let's get some. Of the new boys out here. So, these crop of characters. Where's Videl? Where's Jaren? Where's 17? 17? Honestly? Uh, as you remember, like, last time I did tier list, 17 was, like, brr, 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 at the bottom, right? Uh, 17. Um, I don't think he got much out of the patch. Like, I feel like he lost just as much as he got, because, like, yeah, he got, like, this, that, and the other. Like, oh, okay, he, he definitely got more in the end. He definitely got more in the end. Like, let's not say that, I guess. But um, 17 can't do certain things he used to be able to do anymore. Uh, but he isn't hog trash no more. He isn't, like, downright despicable no more. So for that, I'm going to put him up with Nappa. But, like, I know on uh, paper, a lot of the changes is, like, it's all buffs. That's like, right. the fact Every that, like, some of the record pressure is different now and not in a good way. Like, just whatevs, you know? Jiren, honestly, and I wish I could I wish I could put him up higher. I think Jiren's just solid mid. Like, I wish I could put him higher. But just, like, his, da his solo damage is better than average. But, like, nothing's really inspiring for Jiren. Like, his normals aren't as good as I initially hoped them to be. He's got one of the better assists. I'll say that for sure. He's definitely got one of the better assists. Uh, but, you know, hey, so is this guy. Um, Just, I don't know. I just... Uh, Jiren is not what I hoped he would be. I wish I wish Jiren was, like, here, you know? I wish that's what we were at. But just as a character in the game, I don't know, man. Just Like, like he certainly ain't bad, like... But... I don't know. <laughs> just he doesn't really set the world on fire, right? Like he's he's just he's just all right. He's just all right. That's really all I can say. All right, and now we have a uh, vital Videl Videl. By the way, Videl is devil backwards because Mr. Satan. Did I blow your mind? There you go. So Videl, I don't know, I think she's just downright solid. She's not Bardock, because a lot of people are like she's just like Lady Bardock at the beginning. I don't think she's Bardock, but I do think she's just downright good. So we're just going to put her there. Uh, can't really say much else now. She's just a rushdown like, monster, right? <clears throat> I don't know what else I can really say. Like, just She's just good. Like, not the best, but she's good. All right, all right, all right. So now this mid tier is going to get crowded, eh? Uh, so let's just start working here. So base Goku, base Vegeta. At this point, I feel like base Vegeta has been falling. He debuted really strong and just kind of went down a bit. And honestly, I'm just going to put him solid mid at this point. Certainly not bad. But um, stuff like dive kick, uh, well, rush kick, whatever you want to call it, into vanish, no longer true lockdown, that hurts him. I feel that hurts him a lot more than it hurts uh, Super Saiyan Vegeta. Because uh, I feel like he needs that a lot more than he does. Um, and, like, he still has, like, he's got the loops. Like, that's cool and all. But, like, it's not, like, wildly more damage than another character. So, I just, he's just all right. And base Goku, once again, I never thought he was amazing beforehand. Uh, but, you know, he lost some of his stuff. I don't think he's as wretched as, like, you know, down here. Certainly not Android 16 tier. 16 is obviously the worst character in the game. Uh, but, uh, here, up here, there we go. Uh, but, it's just kind of webs. Uh, so let's talk here, let's go, speaking of Super Saiyan Vegeta, just, once again, just solid, solid upper mid. Can't really argue it. 
He's a he's a good blueprint character. You can just slap him at the end of any team. He works. Solid enough anchor. Good enough assist. So we start getting to some of the weirder characters here. We got a motley crew of characters now, eh? So where do these characters go? Well, let's start with Majin Buu. Majin Buu got hurt. Now, he didn't get hurt as bad as some people think he did. Because um, he can still do restand stuff, but now we have to, you have to pick certain assists. When you didn't have to worry about certain assists before. Um, and you have to do it... Like your combo damage is gonna be less when you get it. It's, it's a lot more spacing intensive, um, and you have to burn bar when you never had to burn him before. So I'm just gonna put him up here. He's still all right. He doesn't have some of the tricks he had before. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, and the tricks he do did have before, they're different now and not in a better way. Um, but he still has them, but you're gonna have to like re like if you had a certain kind of team for kid or sorry, imagine boo before, you're just gonna have to like rewrite right. it Everyone and make a different kind of team. Uh, but yeah, he's certainly not rotten, but uh, it's definitely stung him a bit. It definitely stung him a bit. Beebus also just solid mid. Far cry from him, you know, having his own tier down here before, right? I think he's just solid mid character. He's all right. Uh, but you know, orbs are still or whoa, stuff's falling here. Orb pressure is still, you know, it's all right. Uh, better combo roots, uh, not really because of season two, but from before. Uh, so that's cool, I guess. But yeah. Uh, so yeah, now the tiers are starting to condense here. Eh? We got four characters left. And maybe five, you think I made a joke somewhere. But I don't think I made no jokes. So let's talk here. Let's talk 21 and 18 first, because there's a the reason I'm going to leave these two for last. 18. I just think she's all right. Like, we're going to have to condense this tier quite a bit here. <laughs> oh, whatever. I'll organize this later. But you you guys know what I mean when I do this, right? 18's all right. And I think 21's just all right, all right. 18, a strong offensive character. Absolutely. Uh, some of the better pressure in the game. Uh, it's a little different now. It's a little different. But, like, compared to these guys, like, you got to ask yourself a question. If you're picking 18, right? Unless you're just a fan of the character. If you're picking 18, ask yourself why you're not picking Bardock instead. You know? Ask yourself why you're not picking Del Gohan instead. And it's just a question of why pick her when there's someone better who does the same kind of stuff, right? Like, yeah. Uh, and once again, 21, just solid enough character. Nothing wrong with her. Just, I don't really consider her better than the people above her. Uh, Hit and Teen Gohan. Now, I've made this a very clear thing a million times. These are the two characters I know the least. Uh, I've made a guide on every character in the game now, I think, except for these two. <laughs> like, at some point or another, right? These are, like, the two characters I've never made no guides on. So, these are kind of my blind spot. So, I'm just going to go, rather than my personal opinion, I'm going to do this based on other people's opinions. So, I know it's kind of lame, but... I, right, like, my race other than that, I would just say not enough info, right? Most people seem to put Teen Gohan up around here, sure. Most people seem to put Hit up around here, sure. They're my blind spots, I'm sorry, I just don't know. And yeah, I guess if you're going to be lame, we can put 16 up here. Oh god, how do we do this? We'll clean it up later. We'll clean it up later. Here, actually, we'll clean it up now, screw that. So when it comes to tears, here we go. We're going to start cleaning this list up. All right. Clean the list up. Live on stream. Twitch TV. The destination for live entertainment. I know you guys are being entertained out of your minds right now. With this top tier adjustments of character icons. That's right. Everyone of my race can become a giant gorilla. We Oh god, there's one it's like literally one character too many here. Here, I'll just put him over here. How about that? All right. So
So there you have it. That's my overall tier list. Uh, as always, you are absolutely 1,010% free to disagree. Tier lists are purely opinion-based, not fact-based. Well, to, to, like this is fact-based. <laughs> this is fact-based from now till the end of time. Bardock is just top tier. We can just live with, with that life. We can just live that life now. Uh, but other than that, yeah, this is my personal opinion. Once again, uh, I still think it's a bit early. Uh, we don't have a lot of tournament uh, results under our belts here for a lot of characters, uh, for a lot of possible teams. Things will change. Maybe someone finds out some sick setup, I don't know, and all of a sudden Beavis becomes like up here, right? But for now, Lord Bebis is down here. Uh, and that's kind of just it. That's my opinion. That's where I currently stand. Uh, you know, let me know your opinion on it. <laughs> um, this once again, please, if you disagree, please don't freak out in the comments. It's okay to disagree. Oh, you don't got to lose right. your Everyone mind. My race can you know, a that's just how it is. Tier list are opinion based. But anyways, okay, now I'm rambling. I'm rambling. So that is my tier list here. As you can see here, top tier two, bottom tier. Um... Some characters definitely better than others, oh, sadly. Right. Um, and that's it for gorilla. this video. So thank you very much for watching. I hope this video has found you well. Go and play some Dragon Ball. <laughs> all right, all right. That's the end of that. That's the end of that.